What's good, everybody? So, I was watching this video about games and pricing, and the idea behind the video is games are too expensive, and the fact that they need to find a middle because you can buy incredibly awesome games cheap via the Xbox Live or the PlayStation Network or your phone tablet. You can find really incredible games for like a dollar on your phone or you can find cheaper games on the PlayStation Network or Xbox Live. Um, while that's true, um, your base price is not your final price on consoles. Um, your base price is 60 60 something dollars um, because like this game is $64 and some change that's the base price okay when it's all said and done this game is $64 and some change at start because you have DLCs and DLCs are a horrible thing they're terrible they're the worst possible thing to hit gaming ever because this allows the companies that make these games to purposely rip content out of these games during production and withhold them to get more money from you. You I, and me as the people who play them. And I don't know about you, but me personally, this is the only title I've ever bought a DLC for. I refuse to buy DLC for anything else because it's just not worth it to me. It's just not. I'm not spending my money on any DLC that I... The game, I have to love the game. Like, I have to love that game. Um, <clears throat> I realize that this is a DLC and the game Destiny is not long at all. Um, so, I, I bought it when I, I, I'm not buying the other DLCs when they come out, it's not happening, I'm, that's it, you know what I mean? And I don't even play it, so, but aside from this, like, I can actually pull this up and video it and show you, but... Say next year they release another game with a whole new front, I'm not going to go buy it. This is the only copy I'm going to have. I don't like the case, but I'm not buying another fucking copy of this game. Um, I'm not spending any more money on this fucking game. Um, I don't have DLC like that on any of these games. On any. I, I don't. I haven't used my DLCs for this. I don't plan on it, <laughs> I'm not. Um, but they were talking, in the video, they were talking about, you know, the, the pricing of games, like I said, but they refused to hit the fact that your base price is not your final price. Um, games nowadays cost, like, <clears throat> let's see, say... Say your base price, you start off at 64 and some change. By the time the actual game gets published and it's in your hands and you pay the $64 and some change, right? Okay, and then you have DLC. Alright? And the DLC is not going to stop for about mm, three years. Just say three years. Okay? This means you have skins. Add a dollar a skin, and you could have a skin hit once a month. Granted, that's only going to be 12 bucks per skin for 12 months, okay? But you also got to take into consideration that's one skin. However, that's only one thing, but that's not the only thing they release. They add full model scale levels that they price completely separate. And those can range anywhere from two ninety nine to full on like in Skyrim twenty dollars. Now, if if you buy the DLC and it ranges twenty bucks, 
then you just spend another 20 and the base price for these games is 60 bucks that means you now are invested okay 60 and 20 is 80 and now add that 12 okay you are now how much exactly you are now ninety two dollars into this one title and that's only in one year see what I'm saying this is not for three years this is one year for that whole line you are in it for ninety two dollars okay at one year if we did it for three you're over a hundred dollars off that one principle but like I said that's sixty dollars at start and then twelve 12, 12, 12, that's three twelves, okay, plus the other 60, 60 and 60 is 120, and then, you know, what, 24, 24, wait, 24, 36, add 120 to 36 is... 156 so 156 for that continuation you see what i'm saying and that's the max you're gonna pay is for for one game over a span of three years and that's at max you see what i'm saying so if you take away the base price the games cost now 156 dollars at max okay but you're still paying over 100 dollars because you have DLCs, you have season passes, you have add-ons, you have all this bullshit to pay for. And you don't have, and that's for the consoles. That's consoles only. Okay. Luckily, these do not. The handhelds do not have any of that bullshit to deal with. You don't have DLC, you don't have bullshit add-ons, you don't have no subscription fees you don't have none of that the uh, playstation plus is only on the vita which that doesn't sell nintendo's got free internet shit there all that is free you can play mario kart 7 until your heart is content you can play um i don't know resident evil revelations after you unlock the damn thing you can play all their online games on their handhelds are free to play online um which i give them credit for that um, like I said, it is completely different on the flip side. And the reason I bring up the 3DS is because it's just like a phone. There is no subscription fees for phones to play the games online. There is no wall there. If you buy a dollar game from the Play Store or the Apple Store, you pay a dollar. And granted, it's not as much content, but you have that game and you don't have a wall you might have microtransactions depending on the game and usually if you have a dollar game you don't have microtransactions um and um also um and google store google play uh the store recently they had one of my favorite games for 10 cents which i'm a little mad at because i paid a dollar for it when i bought it but that's besides the point which is need for speed most wanted just so you know but, um, back to the point, um, like Candy Crush Saga and all, they have microtransactions in there, but you don't have to partake in those if you don't want to, there's ways around them, um, however, if you don't want those, you don't have to partake in them, they're not gonna, <coughs> <coughs> They're not going to actually affect your game. You see what I'm saying? Unlike with these games here, a lot of the stuff is blocked off content because they want you to purchase it. Like weapons or story content is blocked off because they want you to buy into it. And that's kind of the point is like you're kind of forcing people to pay more money for something they should already have. Unlike back in the day with the PS2, GameCube, and the Xbox original, you got the whole fucking game and you had to unlock content by beating the fucking game. And 
that was a good time because I mean you actually had to play the fucking game to get the unlock stuff and that was you know it was good I'm not saying you know DLC is all bad if they did it the right way it could be a positive thing you know like okay take for instance say Resident Evil um, DLC for Resident Evil could be a great thing if they did it right. And when I say did it right, say you wanted DLC for Resident Evil, okay, this game never needs DLC. Never. However, say you just bullshit around, right? And say, um, the ending for Resident Evil. Um, say you don't want that to be the ending. Say... Your ending is, in fact, Past Tyrant. Or whatever the fuck. I've never beat Resident Evil, but that's besides the point. Um, say you want to create a whole new ending where it's past everything. Where it actually goes into Raccoon City and, you know, does something else. That would be decent DLC. You see what I'm saying? That would be real DLC. Not bullshit made up. You see what I'm saying? Like with... With a... Con like it actually intertwines something. You see what I'm saying? It makes a whole new thing. You see what I'm saying? That's DLC that people would buy. That's DLC that I think would be worth buying. Not made up bullshit that they just throw at you that's already there. You see what I'm saying? Lock content on a disc is bullshit, and they're making us pay for that, and that's what's got them struggling so hard right now, because we know it's bullshit, and they don't think we know. Anyway, I just wanted to holler at y'all about that real quick. I didn't mean it for this video to go on that long, but it ended up going on that long. Anyway, I gotta get the fuck up out of here. I'm gonna see y'all next video. Deuces, peace, and I'm out of this bitch, though.